Okay, got a broken valance here. I'll show you how to change this without taking the brackets down. Is you push to the side just like that. If these did come off, you want to make sure that when you put them on, like that. Okay. When you put them on, make sure you put the back on first and then the front. If you don't, the back will snap. So back first, then the front. Okay. Here's my new valance right here. All we can do is set these on the top so that the top part hooks in like that. And then what you do is kind of push to the side so the top part's already hooked in. Push to the side until it gets into its deal. If it did come off, remember the back goes on first and then the front. There we go. Nice new balance. It's a done deal. Alright, welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, a little bit on replacing valances. These have this clip here. And for the valance, the clip goes in like this and you turn it in. But when you clip it on, you got to make sure you put the back on first and then the front. If you try to put the front on first and then the back, it'll snap the back of it. So back first and then front. And then wanted to show you what to do if you already have ones in place. You could either unhook them. See here it is off at the front first and then the back. But then when you put it on, put the back on first and then the front. But another way to do this is you could leave it on and twist to the side like that. This one's already down. There we go. So, show you this one. We're going to go on to the top. So it's going to go on at the back first and then over the front. And then if we wanted to put this on without taking it off, you kind of push to the side like so until you get it in. Just like that and release. So the top part's on, push to the side and then release. And that's it. That's replacing the blind balance. Got a little cleaning, but that's a nice new balance. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross. And he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God. Something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin is separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus. You know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him get into the bible into the word and start to grow so that you're protected from deception there's strong delusions out there strong deception and jesus is the way the truth and the life is the only way to the father he's the only way to god so don't don't get tripped up or tricked and don't don't miss out on what is yours through jesus now call out to him today don't wait time is short he's going to return for his people and uh, if you missed it and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. 
you, know, you likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food, um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, you can still have eternal life through Jesus, because again, He took all of our sin on Himself at the cross. So put your trust in Him today, so you don't miss out, and uh, so that you have the covering. Is He is the Lamb the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.